Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Aeon here and welcome! What the hell? Oh, he's just a little drunk, folks. Don't mind him, I'm gonna pause the game. Anyways, welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Young Play. Now, before I begin, you may notice that I have a lisp today and in future episodes. The reason is, I am wearing retainers. I'm in this uh, Invisalign program. Those are invisible braces, for those who don't know. And I am pretty much done, but I have to wear retainers as much as I can. So you may notice this uh, badass lisp for the coming few episodes, so just keep that in mind. And also, I do want to say that I have been reading through the comments, and some of you out there have been complaining that I suck at the game or whatever. But look, it's been over half a decade since I last played the game. And I played the Snake Eater version for the PlayStation 2. And I used to be one of those Asians who had to get his homework done, you know, education was first and all that. So I didn't have the chance to play through the game multiple times and explore its deep mechanics. And a lot of its mechanics are hidden, you know, they don't outright tell you certain things. So I haven't, you know, I never had the chance to explore Metal Gear Solid 3 like I wanted to. So just keep that in mind. If you're here per, for a professional grade gameplay, then you should go watch somebody else. But if you're here, <laughs> Just to have fun and just, uh, you know, me with my badass lisp. If you're here for some young plays and just, you know, have fun with the game, then welcome. And I encourage you to stay. Anyways, let's dive right into it. God, my teeth are killing me. These retainers are freaking tight. But fuck it. I want to play some Metal Gear Solid 3. So hopefully I'll do better for you guys from here on out. I do read the comments and a lot of you guys have been giving me a lot of useful tips. So I thank you for that. In fact, I should start wearing my scientist uniform. Because apparently that's useful here. <laughs> yeah. I should have done this. But uh, you know what? What's the what's the fun in wearing a scientist uniform? I mean, is that how Big Boss would do it? No. He'd just fucking kill everyone. Just fucking snipe him in the face. Or, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm going to go and uh, CQC his ass. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Open the door. Open Sesame! Son of a bitch! Is he coming this way? No? Okay, good. Alright, I'm just going to wait for him to uh, walk back. But yeah, with scientist uniform, I don't get detected instantly. He's thinking. I should probably wait for him to, uh, there you go, walk back. And, uh, if I'm fast enough, I should be able to get past him without him noticing me, so. And I, I don't think I can CQC in my scientist uniform. Shit. Okay, how do I do this? Maybe I should, uh, knock over here, kind of draw their attention. There we go. Come on, dude. Stop being a nerd. Get over here. Are you serious? God. He is dedicated to his work. What if I hide in one of the cubicles? There you go. And, uh... When he... Starts walking this way... I, uh... I'll punch him to death. Or just knock him out. Hopefully that'll work. Or... Maybe he'll stay there forever. Did I just hear the door open? It was the chair. Okay, there you go, buddy. That's right, you keep walking, sucker. Alright. Let's see QC his ass or punch his ass. Yeah, I can't I can't see QC him. I tried holding the button and uh just wouldn't do it. What about this guy? How do I do this guy? Can I maybe draw him out this way? Nope. Nope. Maybe if I just run and tear ass. Oh god! Woo! <laughs> You're not gonna walk here, are you? You're not that curious. That's right. Keep being a nerd. Good job. Good boy. Oh shit. Oof. I should knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Huzzah! Bitch. That was kinda cool. Alright. So that's that. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit! Oh hello, buddy. <laughs> wow. He didn't even raise a brow. I love this uniform. <laughs> now I understand why you guys were so pissed 
that I didn't use the scientist uniform in the first place. It's quite useful. They really don't give a damn about me. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of here. I'm guessing, uh... Yep, this guy, look, I can just kind of... Damn, yeah, look at, look at how close I am. I'm practically holding his dick, and he still doesn't notice me. Now that... ...is awesome. Alright. And they're famished because I destroyed their uh, food supply. Oh, hello there. Uh, I'm just gonna... just. Oh! You see that, uh, football style, American football style spin I did there? That was kind of awesome. And yeah, held his dick, but nothing. Wow. That's, uh, interesting. Can I, can I go out this way? Yeah, I don't think so. This is where I came from. This is where I'm gonna come out from. Wait, hold on. Are, are the soldiers back from outside? Because I feel like in my scientist uniform. Oh shit, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think uh, the scientist uniform works uh, against uh, the soldiers outside. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're trying to keep the scientists in, so we gotta find another way out. One that's a little sneakier. I found a few in the previous episodes, so that should work. Jesus Christ, these guys don't know at all. God, this would have saved me a lot of time. What's in here? Right, this place. Yeah, I think I found some kind of a... Now, was it here? God, where was that shortcut? It wasn't a shortcut, it was like a like a hole in the uh, in the ventilation. Or in the wall, not the ventilation. Uh, Jesus. Oh. There's a scientist in there, I don't wanna... draw his attention. Yeah, I think it was in here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. And I should, um, camo myself now. No, actually, once I get outside, would be best. There you go. Yeah, I think uh, this leads outside. I hope I'm right. If not, I'll go to the second floor and, uh, I can actually jump out of there. There's, like, a balcony. So I'll do that. Yeah, there you go. Inside walls. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to do. And let's get the hell out of here. I should uh, camo myself a little better. Choco chip, leaf. I'll go with leaf for now. And uh, where, uh, let's see. Woodland seems to be the best, so I'll go for that. Awesome. And now we gotta watch out for, uh, enemies. I should restore the batteries for, uh, the motion detector. Maybe use sonar. Let's see. Oh, there's one guy. Let's see. Let's shoot this guy. Nice. I'm not against killing anymore. I was when I started this, you know, when I began this Let's Play, but, uh, I was just too boring, I don't know. Killing is fun. But I still love the stealth, so I'm not gonna, like, run and gun or shit like that. Nice. That's two. I should probably get this guy out of the way. Alright. Anybody else in there? Nope. Maybe? Well, if he is, he's really far away, so... He won't see me. Oh, look. There he is. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Yeah, this guy is behind the truck. The other guy is behind the wall. I'm set to go. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm gonna keep crawling just to make sure. Okay, perfect. There you go. And voila! See? I'm improving. God. No need to bitch. Ooh, a little box here. Floating box. Suppressor, nice. I got three of these now for this gun. And let's see, I got one for the MK. 
perfect. Now, a lot of people have been asking why I sometimes use the MK22 um, to, uh, and then slice their necks instead of just shooting people in the head with my gun. Well, the, um, the MK22, if you shoot the guy, he, uh, you know, if you miss, you know, if you shoot him in, in the ass or something and not in the head, he won't be suspicious about it. You know, he'll just be like, what the, you know, he'll kind of raise a brow maybe, and that's it. But if you shoot him with a gun, correct me if I'm wrong, I may be wrong, but if you, if you shoot him with a gun and you miss and you hit him in the ass or something and not in the face and don't go for a one-hit KO, then I'm assuming he'll actually be like, okay, shit, there's somebody here. Which is why I use the MK sometimes, just to be sure, in case I miss. But, um, is this guy gonna turn around or what? There you go, perfect. Maybe this... There you go, motion detector. Perfect. I'm so hungry. Good for you. There you go. I don't think you're hungry anymore, are you? Oh, there's a dog. Shit. I hate these fucking dogs. Shit. I need to shoot him now. These dogs are... Oh, shit. I should probably shoot that guy. <laughs> the dog disappeared, so... He's not gonna sense there's something wrong, is, is he? There you go. Headshot! m m m m m monster kill! Let's get the fuck out of here. And I know where to go. I have to go back, there's this building and uh, there's this uh, red door or something. Ooh, a fucking snake. Let's destroy him. Nice. Excellent. I hope there's no more guards back here. Yeah, I think I'm I'm good. Let's get the hell out of here. Cool. Now I'm assuming enemies respawned here as well. And actually I didn't oh wait, let's see. What the hell? Who? Holy shit! Ow! What the fuck? Jesus Christ. It's the fear. Is it boss battle time already? Wow. One way to uh, announce yourself. Ew! I am the fear. I am Lord Voldemort. That vault is coated in the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider. Soon, the most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Okay. Your limbs will be paralyzed. Your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually, your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? I know, right? Not a beating limb. Mm-hmm. Whoa. This guy. The boss is apprentice. Must be popular with the chicks with with a tongue I like that. Give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. Wow, I'm time. high. Oh my god, what the hell? For what is wrong with you? The fear. What the fuck, this guy? Shit, okay.